kidnapping, we might be forced to shut down in Kogi. Hello, my wonderful people. This is the new normal now. And then Buhari and his cohorts are very comfortable. In fact, they are happy with the way things are going. This is what they envisage. Because if you are not happy, you do something about it. Why do I say that? He's the commander of chief of the armed forces in Nigeria. He's the one to tell the army, okay, go to this place, restore normalcy. And do this and do that. But to a large extent, the security they said they are fighting, you know, to put in place in Nigeria is all a scam. Make, you know, false evidence appearing real. It's called fear. Making it look like they are doing something, but really, truly, they are doing nothing. Well, in Kogi, they are saying, you know what, it's like we will have to shut down. They keep uh, kidnapping our people, asking for a huge ransom. We may have to shut down. Because what is happening, I mean, is unprecedented. These are pharmacists who come to the states to help people get medications. But, I mean, it's becoming something else. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. It is very worrisome, I must tell you. It is very threatening to every one of us and our existence. A situation where healthcare providers and their facilities are being attacked calls for urgent attention from all stakeholders, even in the bad situation, such as war. Healthcare providers are not usually attacked, reason being that they, are rather, they render services across the board. We swear to an oath to protect life, and so we don't have enemies. We take care of everybody, irrespective of your status in the society, whether you are a criminal or not. Even when criminals are apprehended on the highway, and they are being brought to the hospital. They are not being denied care, even with the assumption that they are criminals. They are being attended to first. So it becomes worrisome when we, the provider of essential services, especially those that deal with survival of everyone, are being attacked. This call for urgent attention. The president is doing nothing about it. The governor of Kogi State is doing nothing about it. We are healthcare providers. Three of our members have been kidnapped, and up till now, there is no headway. One is from Okene, another from Kirby State, and the last one is from Ajokuta, Abiokuta. And as I speak, none of them has regained their freedom. We were able to get communication from one of the victims' adopters, and they are asking for money, millions. They are asking for money, of course. One of the adopters is asking for three, 300 million from the family of one of our members from Okene, they contacted the wife and asked her for 300 million. From the information I got from the wife, they asked that they should allow her to have a conversation with her husband in order for her to be sure that her husband is alive. And from there, there have been no form of communication from the kidnappers. So this is how far we have gone. Some news making rounds indicates that the family of one of the kidnapped victim provided 10 million but it was rejected by the kidnappers how true is that you know and the other one we saw was that the fa another family from okene agreed to pay 10 million to the kidnappers but they later rejected it insisting that it has to be the 300 and or nothing less that is not very true of what we are uh, we, we are going through how do we solve this issue how much is our salary opportunity for us to educate ourselves and our children we are pharmacists we are people who are involved in this business. We are not involved to enrich ourselves. We are just here to ensure good health medications, the right medications are being taken by the people. The public should stop seeing us as very rich people. How can they be asking for 300 million? Do we, ask, we, we don't even have access to loan in this country. It is money that, is, is there money we have stuck up somewhere? And the governor, nobody has come to our aids. We are pharmacists to go around we, and we, uh, we, we put medications out there we have in our shops and we give people the right directions so that they don't abuse drugs. We all need drugs to survive. We all need drugs to, provide, to prevent illness. We all need drugs when we have a surgery or when there is something. Three of our members right now, we don't know where they are. This issue going on is beyond us. We are calling on the governor of the state to do something immediately. Kogi drugstore, we have to stop, we will shut down in Kogi and not have anything to do with the state anymore. Maybe then they will understand that we are really serious. These are things, unless something is done urgently, we are shutting down in Kogi. Three of our members, we cannot give account to as to where they really are. 
This is very worrying. This is very worrying. This is very disturbing. So my wonderful people, you've heard it all. Pharmacists are not happy with the current predicament that they are going through. Three of their members have been apprehended, kidnapped in Kogi State, and they don't even know where they are. That's the worst part. They don't know where they are. Only one, the, the wife was able to make a bit of contact, and since then, nothing. They're asking for 300 million, and the man is asking, where did we get this money from? We are people working and just getting salaries. Do they think we have stuck up money somewhere? So that the governor of the state is saying nothing. Nobody is behaving as if anything is happening. Everybody is just quiet, looking at them, and, you know, it's very disheartening. You know, these are some of the things happening. This is very sad. This is a very sad phenomenon of the things going on, you know. So these are some of the things going on, and it's rather, you know, very unprecedented that these things are happening at this day and age. So my people, we cannot continue to pretend that all is well. And Kogi governor is facing presidency, forgetting that people will be alive to be able to vote. Yeah, he's facing presidency, forgetting that there are dying issues and dying things that need his urgent attention like yesterday. So how do we explain all this? Where do we go from here? How do we sort out this problem that is going on and that is staring us in the face? For the pharmacists to be coming out and saying we are, we are shutting out, we are going to shut Kogi out. And the president of the country, of course, he does, he, he's not bothered. He does not get your services because he has gone to the UK to get re-original drugs. I'm not saying that your drugs are not original. I'm just trying to make a point. He has gone there to get the real ones. If you get what I mean. So it can't be bothered. If you like, oh, people like they should die. Of course, they should die so that uh, Fulanese can take over their land. That's the new, that's the new plan. You see, this is what is going on and uh, Nigerians are watching. This is what is happening. This is what is going on. So Nigerians, there is serious cause for concern. We are watching these things and these things are happening. These things are going on right before our very eyes. So are we going to sit back and pretend that all is well? We need to speak out and we need to speak out now. So that things can we not get any, any you know, get worse from where they already are. Where, where things are already is worse than you can ever imagine. Things are already gone from bad to worse. You see, so we, we just need to rise up to the occasion. We just need to rise up to the occasion, you know, and stand up. So these are the problems going on right now. You know, I really feel for, you know, for people who are going through this stress. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.